roll literally, but like, you know. Gaze. Gaze. <laughs> oh, look at those muscles. Mm. <laughs> Call me. Call me. Slide it to my DMs. Zoom please. In. <laughs> it's gonna zoom in. It's gonna zoom. <laughs> That's gonna be the thumb. Call me. <laughs> Yo, my, my phone is dry. Please. Help it by out. Oh, wow. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's your boy Shetty. Today I'm joined by the beautiful Fatima. Fatima. And for those of you that do not know, this is Interviews with Shetty, where I sit down with people that are out there doing their thing so and I excited. ask them about their life yeah. and just kind of get to share their story and use my platform for A to them to kind of share their story, what they're going through, and for B to hopefully inspire people coming up. So, yeah. Let's hit it, yo. So exciting. Yeah. Literally. Oh. <laughs> Sorry if I suck on camera, even yeah. though I model, which is so funny. People are like, you should be good. I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah. okay. People call me Fa, Fa, Wa, Wa. What do your friends call you? Fa. Okay, I'm gonna call her Fa. For people that do not know who you are, yes. share a little bit about yourself. Okay. What is it that you do? Yes. Like, my magnificent of life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I moved to the States when I was eight years old. Okay. Um, I knew three words, pretty much like. What were the three words? So, well, maybe not three words, like three sentences I okay. could say. So I knew how to say, hi, my name is, this is, how, like, I'm eight years old, mm -hmm. and um, I don't speak English very well. Okay. So, and it's so funny, my parents have, like, a video of us coming before to the States, mm -hmm. and they're like, hey, can you tell us what you learned in English class? And I'm saying those, like, three, three things. Three sentences, yeah. And it's so interesting to see that grow. Now, you know, I speak, like, mm -hmm. three languages okay. now. What so, are the three languages you speak? So I speak Farsi. English? in Portuguese. Oh, no, wait, you speak Portuguese? Yes. What do you know how to say in Portuguese? Well, I can speak it, so whatever you want me to say. Yo, how do you say it? My name is Shadi and I'm the best. Okay. Period. Okay, and I'll say it. Okay, I'll just say, Oi, to the bang, which is like, hi, how are you? To the bang. Yeah. To the bang. To the bang, hello. To the bang. Hello, hello, hello. Oi. 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 Bang. Yeah, what's your stuff? I mean, you're like, Oi, to the bang. Oi, to the bang. Yeah. You could be like, Shetty. Oi, to the bang, Shetty. Hey, hey. Before I rudely interrupted you with I'm that like, one. I'm like, no, I'm like, wait, are we still talking? <laughs> Okay, so I moved to the States. Okay. My uh, the whole reason why we moved was because of my dad's job. So mm -hmm. he's a professor at university or not? Wow, can we restart? <laughs> so um, he was a professor, a Farsi professor mm -hmm. at Wentworth Mil Military Academy, which is an hour away from Kansas City. Five thousand people, small town, and then. Graduated high school. I went and I lived in Brazil my first year, so my freshman year of college. Oh. And then I came back, and that second semester I lived with them. And then after that, they moved to Texas, and I stayed and I went to Warrensburg okay. for University of Central Missouri. And then third year, woohoo, woo -woo. almost there. Oh, she's almost done with school. Almost there. And what did you say you were studying again? So I studied public relations with a minor in marketing. Mm -hmm. And then I, since I had to go online to move to the city, it's now general studies with a minor in marketing. Okay, so you're a full-time student. Yep, full-time student. You work full-time. I work full-time. And then you and model then as well. I model full-time, a lot. I wouldn't say full-time now. Okay. It's kind of cut, cut down okay. to being part-time, but as of right now, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Dude, so. so she does three different things, and this is why I bring people like this on Multi. here. Multi. Yeah. No, literally, she's the incumbent. Income. I can't even speak it's English, yo. <laughs> so we kind of touched about this a little bit earlier. So yep. you do modeling. Yes. You, a lot of your stuff is on Instagram. Yep. I'm gonna throw all all the stuff will be in the bio. Go follow Shout me. Shout out, dude. Follow her. Boyfriend. We, we can make friends. Why? DM me. Let's, oh, that's let's I, collab. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna on that note because this was gonna be one of the questions for later, but like. DM yeah. wise, like, do you ever get like really weird DMs? Or, I like, get weird DMs okay. all the time. What is like the weirdest DM that like, you feel comfortable sharing? Um, I get a lot of guys thinking that like they can be with me if they mm. try to like take the sugar daddy approach. Oh, okay. I like, it's so weird. I'm like, what part of me not responding made you think <laughs> that was gonna make me yeah. respond? And I'm always really quick to like put people in their place because okay. I'm not afraid. Because like, I feel like I'm an empowered woman and I mm -hmm. understand myself and everything so like if I can start by doing that for somebody else and hopefully being the stepping stone so that that guy's not in somebody else's like mm -hmm. maybe that person's into that but it's just so interesting like 
you know i'm a busy person so sometimes when people dm me like multiple times i like won't get to it or if i know what their intentions are That's very true. like i feel like girls know what guys intentions are mm -hmm. and if i know it's n like nothing pure and truly not what they're saying it's mm -hmm. going to be then i just kind of like ignore it have you ever gotten like asked for like feet pics or something like that as well? like, no, like, I'm feet pics. But I have gotten asked to like send my underwear, which is so weird. Yo, like someone said like they would pay. Would no, pay literally, for your they're like, I'll pay you if you just send me your. I'm like, can you please get out Yo, of my yeah, just block? See. You should see my block list. No, it's okay. massive. Like, Word. I'm happy I didn't get blocked too, because I slid in. <laughs> I slid into your Instagram DMs. I was like, Yo, like, would you be down to like <laughs> make, a video? make a video with me? Oh, like, <laughs> Like, do uh, my research first. Blocked. <laughs> blocked. One tiny tear. <laughs> the cricket's back. <laughs> Yo, we're, we're playing side violin again. You like message at me and you're like, Yo, your boy's weird. Yeah, I'm like, 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 what is your friend doing in my DMs? What is he in your DMs? One interview. Yeah. What? That's <laughs> wrong. Okay. Whatever. You can tell when people are being professional though. Okay. It's uh, there's a fine line between mm -hmm. like people being professional and then people just being straight up not like, weird, weird but yeah. like weird. What was like the vibes you got when I was like, Yo, like this is. No, it was like super friendly because oh, you're like, yeah, you cool. explain, you're like, like, hey, my friend of me, like, this yeah, is yeah, you, like, yeah. told yeah. me to get in contact with you and mm -hmm. so forth. And I was like, all right, okay. cool. Wait, I'm working on my approach, y'all. Like, yeah. I'm not that weird. I know some of you think I'm weird. I'm not that weird. You're like, I'm trying to make a video and they're like, uh. What is a good way to slide into a girl's DMs? This is advice for the boys, yo. Or even <laughs> for the girls, yo, yo. Um, I feel like girl, see, it's so weird because like for me, unless I know that person personally, mm -hmm. I don't see them as okay. someone like interesting. Yeah, I'm into because mm -hmm. I want to spend time with that person and truly understand them as a yeah. human being, how they function, how they are, mm -hmm. and then I like to think deeper about it. To, yeah. So for me, I am very friendly too. So mm -hmm. something that might not seem like it might be innocent from a girl's perspective might be taken differently for guys or vice versa. Yeah. But for me, if you're being genuine in my DMs, like sliding up on my story and saying something personable and mm -hmm. something that isn't just like rude or basic mm -hmm. or something like that i will take the time to respond to you and you know be personal back and yeah. genuinely nice i've had girls in my dms like oh, hey I'm like love your yeah. like love your shoots you've inspired me for and like that's another reason why i've kept going with like doing more photo shoots and stuff like awesome. that just yeah. because like if one photo can inspire someone to create something that is so unique to them and something that they're proud of then like I feel like um, it's made my week and my year. Yeah. One of my boys uh, was telling me like he's one time sent into like one of this girl's DMs and he was like, "Hey, what do you want from the grocery store?" Just like very like kind of like because it's different. Yeah. Like Shout out Latouse, so... bro. That's my boy Latouse. Uh, yeah. We're... Can you go and buy my groceries too? <laughs> it's like you're like, what do you want from Whole Foods? And it's like this, girl, but this girl ended up messaging like, back. Let's she's like, let's go to Whole Foods she's together. Like, she's like, what? Whole this... husband, husband, right there. Yo, go to Whole Foods. Get her heart. Whole Foods. Literally. Whole Take Foods. notes, y'all. You said something that I think was very interesting where it's like you're just an individual, like not an individual, you are an individual, but yeah, it's like babe. you're a nice person or something like yeah. that. And it's like same sort of thing with me. It's like I'm yeah. very nice and sometimes like it comes off as like flirty and I'm like, yes. I'm not trying to flirt. Like yes. I, this is just who I am as an individual. Yes. Or people are like, okay, like what motive is he playing? Like why are you being so nice and everything? And it's yeah, like, no, it's like, like there's no motive. This, this is just generally who I am. This is just me. <laughs> just nice. Call me. Call him. I'm a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> And then like to like beyond like, blessed, you know, beyond blessed, yo. We're really good at. Words. I left my heart in so many places, yo. <laughs> I have good, positive vibes. Positive. Positive mind. Positive oh, vibes. Positive. Yo, she got inspirational stuff all over the yeah, place. Yeah, you yo. know, I just feel like it's my like if I'm gonna be looking at it, I have to. You have to inspired like yo, inspired by it. Even to like <laughs> really big into words. Like even like the aspect of like inspiration for you, where it's like yeah. if you inspire these kids, like the videos as well. Yeah, I love it. Same thing. It's like yo, like if I can touch one person in his life, or it's like okay, like yo, mm -hmm. I see the power in this, or like he did this, so I can do this. That's why I do it. So just like to push people and like Pop challenge them, them to do what exactly. they want to do, like what they're passionate about and everything. Exactly. Well. Yeah. I agree. Huh. Okay. So jumping back into Instagram. Yeah. So being a model. Okay. Uh, I want to kind of talk a little bit about like the mental health yes. piece of modeling yeah. and whatnot for that. Um. So before kind of like just kind of at the surface level, how would you say like mentally, like mental health wise, you are doing right now? Mental health wise, I feel like every day I try to be strong, but then there are those days that really challenge me as a human being. Mm -hmm. And I think the whole reason why I'm so stable with it now is because of the people that are around me. Mm -hmm. I'm consistently, you know, oh, oh. <laughs> be right back. Yo, lights are back, lights are back. <laughs> oh. oh. So, um, 
going back to that yeah mm -hmm. i feel like the people who are i'm surrounding myself with now have like re really helped me guide me and mm -hmm. kind of put me in a good headspace but i feel like mental awareness and mental health is something that i personally struggle with mm -hmm. for so long just because i've been through certain events that have also challenged that and mm -hmm. have kind of made me re-question some things that might be happening in my life now because mm -hmm. of those events so interesting so going into my so i went to brazil and then i came back i was dating someone and then i like things ended which was like fine we're like still friends mm -hmm. and like nothing no hard feelings but that and then I moved uh, to UCM and then I kind of got into something with someone that led into me getting assaulted at the bar and then like a year later I'm getting stopped by this person wow. and just like it at the time and it's like so insane so now I've gotten stopped twice yeah. yeah and like the second time was not by the same not two different people but like mm. the second time i just kind of brushed it off because it wasn't affecting me mentally as much mm -hmm. as the first time because it was like really scary yeah and then you know moved away and then uh, just kind of did not choose the right ways to help me with those situations either mm -hmm. so i feel like i kept getting more and more lost mm -hmm. instead of getting and speaking out and getting help when I needed help because I thought I had to be like independent and super strong and mm -hmm. you know next thing I know my head is like way like I'm like six feet under on the ground and it's like so hard to like get back up and then you know I just took the time to travel a little bit mm -hmm. every time I feel like I'm truly like disconnected from myself I like to travel mm -hmm. to just kind of get a grip and be like okay what is what is fall like? What is fall dislike? What does yeah. fall want from life? Like, what? Where do I wanna? How do I wanna take everything that I've learned about myself now, put it into actions, mm -hmm. and kind of take it forward going from there? Interesting. So yeah, I, so, I appreciate yeah. like sharing that. Yeah, yeah like, got you. Yeah. All right. So this is just right after Shadi. I'm gonna ask you Woo! first thing that comes to mind. You just okay. Just answer, okay. Okay. This is a big throwback right here. All right. So. For the very first one that I ever did. All right, if you could be any soup, what type of soup would you be? Uh, broccoli. Broccoli soup. Any superpower? Invisibility. Uh, wh who's your favorite sports team, or what is your favorite sport? Or uh, favorite sport, I would say volleyball to play. Okay. Favorite sport to watch, basketball, just because it keeps you on your. Nice. What's your favorite basketball team? I don't think I have one, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Are you like a LeBron James fan? Yeah, I like like KU basketball. Okay. Oh, like, like college. College okay. is cool. And then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, what are some of the hobbies you enjoy doing? Working out, spending time with my friends and adventuring, not just like hanging out and watching Netflix, mm -hmm. traveling. Traveling, okay. Uh, what is your favorite dance movie? Can you demonstrate it? My favorite dance move? Oh my God, I like this. Does this count? Uh, the Woe? Yeah. yeah. Just like, hey. <laughs> I don't know where you just throw hey. it out. If you could have dinner with any guest, past or present, who would you have dinner with? I would have dinner with Malala Yousafzadeh. What is your favorite pickup line? Or do you use pickup lines? I've never used pickup lines. Okay, well I'm gonna, to risk, I'm gonna throw one out there and let me know what you think of it, right? Okay, okay, hey. deal. Yo, did you just fart? Because you're blowing me away. Oh! Uh, I literally be like, oh, oh God, no. Yo. Is that another one? Should I not use that? Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a cuter one out there. Probably. I just, I just enjoyed that. That one's just a weird one, you know. I just like just to make research. these weird ones. Yeah. Okay, what are you most proud of? Is it bad to say myself? I don't know. Like, I think I'm most proud of myself just because I was put into such dark situations <coughs> that I could have easily given into and not mm -hmm. bounced back, but I've come so far and bounced so far that, like, I'm genuinely proud of myself. Yeah. Like, what is your best memory, would you say, in 2019? My best memory in 2019 was... There is a lot of good memories. I'm not going to lie. With the down, there was a lot of ups. But just time, genuine time spent with the people that I've gotten to meet in 2019 or being with my family, just my people. Mm -hmm. Wrong answer. It's this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> best memory I mean. Best memory no, 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 no. no, I'm just kidding. Um, who is your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush? 
Shoot, I don't know if I... Theo James? What is a piece of advice you give to your younger self? In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. Did you say irreplaceable? Yeah. Okay, say the quote one more time for the so people. What is the quote? In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. And Yo. it's by Coco Chanel. Coco, Coco Chanel butter. I'm like, I see out with Chanel. No. Let's go. <laughs> what's your, what's yeah. your biggest goal for 2020? My biggest goal is to keep grinding and keep not comparing myself and being creative. Yo, yo, that was very effortless, yo. Yeah. She's a natural on camera. I thought about it. Yeah, a little bit of thought here and there, but it's rapid fire. That has been rapid fire, Rochetti. Yes. Huh. Boom. I just, I literally just went to do this and I went like this. Dude, did you actually? Boom. Who dabs like this? That is not I a dab. No, as soon as I did it to you, I was like, oh. Wow, dude, that. That's gonna be the interview right there. I'm embarrassed. Nah, yeah. whatever. I'm gonna like find out. It's a out. new dance move. Yo, do the do the fuck. <laughs> uh, uh. Do the Play some music. <laughs> um. So then, I guess as well, because you talked about this a little bit earlier, and I kind of want to bring it back mm -hmm. full circle, where it's like. You're Middle Eastern, you're from is yeah. it Iran, right? Yep. Yep, Iran. I'm Lebanese. Um, I've never said that on camera, yo. I'm Lebanese, yo. Hey! <laughs> um, support your Lebanese boy, yo. Yes. Lebanese people, where you at? Um, but like being Middle Eastern. Shop is merch. Yo, sh I don't have merch, yo. Shop is merch in the future. In the future, if I decide to do merch, yo, help your boy out. Um, but like being Middle Eastern, yeah. do you sometimes, because I know there's two different kind of coins, coins of this. Yeah. Two coins. There's not two coins to this. I don't know. <laughs> English, is, English, English is a soft hard. language. Um, like, do you some, like do you care like what other people in your like society in, culture, in your culture like say like about you? Persian or side or yeah. American side? Uh, it's so interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. both. Yeah. So we'll like, I was born there and I okay. moved there when I was nine. Okay. I was eight and I turned nine and we were in Dubai when I turned nine. Okay. So since then, Dubai was lit. It was like interesting to have that transition in my life and it was a humbling experience to be honest but <laughs> like even doing modeling now I feel like I'm in the public eye one because like my family has a name mm -hmm. and you know a reputation back home okay. so they have that with like my name tagged to it so it's a mixture of feelings you know I have people calling my dad every day like do you know what your daughter's posting mm -hmm. and stuff like that and then yeah. I have the aspect of like oh my god like so proud of you mm -hmm. for doing and achieving what you are wanting to put out there for yourself mm -hmm. so it's been interesting to kind of get like both aspect of things um it can be tough sometimes especially when you sometimes like i've gotten acid threats before you get i get a what like acid threat what is that like acid like thrown on me whoa yeah Back home, have sent you that. Yes, like, well, like to my parents, they're like, you know, like now she's not safe to come back home, and it's like so weird because wow. you're like, these are my people, and like, yeah, this is my home, and like, I want to go see my family, wow. but you know, just having that thought and like scare behind mm -hmm. you, it just kind of makes you very hesitant and like going forward. When and, was like, the last time you were in your room? Uh, 2014. Okay, so. I think. And you started doing modeling after that or? it was like interesting so when i was in a senior in high school like i loved the fashion industry like even growing up as a mm -hmm. little girl i told my mom i was going to be a fashion designer mm -hmm. like i don't know why i just loved i loved it and so when i turned 18 i auditioned for Kansas city fashion week and then after that it just kind of blossomed into something that i was not even expecting like after that i kind of got noticed and then i got more people like photographers reaching out like hey do you want to shoot do you want to collab mm -hmm. okay how about this shoots coming yeah. up would you like to be a part of this like campaign or whatever it was and like i would do my research and then see like what they were about what the shoot was about because mm -hmm. you know at even the age of 18 i didn't want to like get into like lingerie or anything mm -hmm. or like swimsuits just because one i was not comfortable with myself in mm -hmm. front of the camera and my body yet and two i didn't want to be like seen as just like oh she's in front of the camera and yeah. like a two-piece or whatever it was especially because like americans look at that and they're like oh she's so cute she's like falling into a pool and she's wearing like calvin klein under like set mm -hmm. but then persians are like oh my god like so it's like 
it's a battle it's a constant battle mm -hmm. especially even with like my social media sometimes I'm like do I want to continue this and make it like a modeling page or do I want it to be a mixture of both and be like I'm a real human being like here's my friends here's my you know family mm -hmm. so weird mm -hmm. you know I feel like mental health is like more part of that um, yeah. than anything yes. else mm -hmm. is just trying to figure out okay and it's not even about like pleasing everyone and anything it's just like trying to be who you are but also not offending other people everyone yeah. but i feel like no matter what you post or whatever you say either way just well like we joked about this earlier as well but it's yeah. like um it, like especially in like the culture as well it's like if you're yeah. not a doctor if you're not an engineer if you're not a lawyer what are you disappointment yeah, or like something like that, but it's like not like that, but it's like. Um, but it kind of is like that. <laughs> it was like that. If you're not those three, <laughs> if you're not those three, people don't want to get married to you. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Moms are like, hey, like, what does he do? Oh, he makes videos. <laughs> Gotta go. Out of here. Get him out of here. But yeah, like you just kind of hear things, and I think for me it was like I was always worried, like, am I actually letting down my parents? Um, like, cause I like didn't get this, like, yeah. I was in a lawyer and everything like that and whatnot. But I think for me it's like no, like I'm happy and I want to show other kids as well that like. If you're happy with what you're doing, and kind exactly. of like you said as well, like you're Middle Eastern, yeah. like you're doing modeling, and like, like I was very surprised when you said like, oh, like you've gotten threats of like. Oh, no, like, it's been like, like crazy, and it's like it's it's so funny. Like these are things that I never speak about, and like mm -hmm. people don't know about, and then that's the perception I'm talking about. Like yeah. they think, oh, like here she is, like perfect. It's like mm -hmm. no, no, there's like, a lot that goes into it. Yeah, yeah, and there's like a lot of phases and mm -hmm. a lot of people I met and there's a lot of situations that have happened in my life to like build me and make me who I am like yeah. now that person is still growing and like and you're still so young as well you're like, I know yo, I'm like 21 and I yo. feel like I'm 25 I'm like where's my ring where's my children Whoa. Where's my <laughs> I'm 25 you're like you're like why are you not in a relationship are you going to get married and I'm like you're like no I'm doing my thing right now it's like there. Yeah, I mean, are, here's the thing. Are you like doing your thing and then like looking out for like Dude, whatever? Okay, or? you want to talk about my dating life? You'll be talking about dating life. Really yeah, quick, I'm like, like, we're switching this video. Yeah. Now it's about you. <laughs> it's interviews with Shaddy, episode four. Shaddy, also, just a quick shout out. You're the first girl I've interviewed as well. My interviews as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just, so honored. Huh? Hey. But it's like, for. See you guys next time. Just rolling down. It's a struggle, my sweet boy. Yo, thank you guys for. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but thank you guys for Literally, sticking it for this long. Thank you for having me. Yo. I'm honored to be the first woman. Oh. Hey. I don't know what that was. That was really bad. Yeah, that was so bad. Let's try that again. Cut it out. Wait, what are we Cut doing? It. What are you gonna do? What? What? Fatima, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me Thanks as well for about me. about everything that you talked about yes. and like being that open and like being genuine yeah. too. It's very dope. <laughs> I'm going through puberty. 25 years old, going through puberty. You're the first girl I got to interview. Hey. It's very dope as well. Um, but like I said, if I'm you made honored. it to the end, oh, I'm honored to interview. I'm honored that you like thank decided you. to like hang out with me yes. for this long yo and like just like talk in front of the camera if you did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like if you're new yes. around here make sure you either hit that follow button or the subscribe button make sure to check out subscribe. yo thank you yo why are you not subscribed yo get his merch get my merch when i drop some merch i don't know when that will be in at know. some point yo um but make sure you check her out all her stuff yes. is gonna be in the bio as well do you have anything you want to leave the people follow yo follow me. that's no, a given yo follow her yeah, like follow me let's be friends yo do you want to leave the people with anything or not i don't know just love your best life be your best self and mm. you know do your thing, thing, yo. Do your thing. Yeah, yo. Signing off, this has been your boy Shetty. <laughs> I hope we'll see you guys soon. Don't forget, peace and blessings. Bye. Yeah.